Chris Shoba from Just Go Places. Welcome back. And today I want to tell you the story about my horseback adventures at Lake Guntersville State Park in Alabama, where I actually saw a rattlesnake. Of course, having never seen a rattlesnake before, I had no idea it was a rattlesnake. And luckily, the horse was smarter than me and stopped in time before anything bad happened. So, let's get into the story. So where is Lake Guntersville State Park? It's in the U.S. southern state of Alabama in the northeast corner on the side with Georgia. Lake Guntersville itself is Alabama's largest lake and acts as a reservoir for the Tennessee River that flows nearby. Before Lake Huntersville, the area was subject to flooding from the Tennessee River. Lake Huntersville State Park is 6,000 acres and easily reached from the cute little city of Guntersville, Alabama. There's plenty to do in the state park, both on land and water. Entrance to the state park is free, so you can just drop by for a spot of fishing or kayaking, etc. It is super family friendly with a little beach area for kids as well. Horseback riding is one of the activities you can do at the state park. There are horse trails, as you can see, but I would recommend using the guided expertise of Alabama Horseback Adventures. They are located right by the Town Creek Fishing Center. You can explore the thousands of acres of Lake Guntersville's woodlands on horseback to truly appreciate the stunning scenery. Alabama Horseback Adventures offers one and two hour rides on well-trained and well-kept horses. You can arrange longer rides, including overnight camping trips by prior arrangement as well. Want to have a meal as part of your trail ride? They can ar arrange a barbecue, but the most popular choice is takeaway from Chick-fil-A. We all love Chick-fil-A, let's face it. Alabama Horseback Adventures works with the Lake Guntersville State Park resident naturalist as well, so that you can make your horseback riding an educational experience. On my trail ride with Alabama Horseback Adventures, it turned out that we had met this team before on a trail ride in Cody, Wyoming. Sam Wright, the owner of Alabama Horseback Adventures, also worked with the tourist office in Cody, Wyoming when we were there. Sam is a real outdoorsy guy. He was a guide for Hidden Creek Outfitters near Yellowstone Park and worked as a ranch manager at UXU Ranch, a historic dude ranch in Wyoming. Okay, side note, UXU, what a weird name I thought. So I asked Sam about it and he explained the original rancher had a wife who left him. So he put up a sign that said, you bleep you, and the authorities crossed it out because it was a bad word and the bleep was cussing. And UXU Ranch, it stayed. Funny, huh? Sam's work took him to Wyoming for six months of the year while his wife and kids stayed in Alabama. Sam returned to his roots in Alabama during COVID-19 and started Alabama Horseback Adventures so visitors could explore the beauty of nature in Alabama. So instead of the wide open spaces of Wyoming, I was in the woodlands of Alabama. It may be a newish business, but I was comforted that Alabama Horseback Adventures has years of experience. They were great with me, a nervous rider. My family always makes fun of me when I go on horseback because something invariably dumb happens. Usually because, you know, I did it because I'm terrible. Sam stopped to pick up a horseshoe who found. Good thing, we needed that luck later. On our ride, we even came across a rattlesnake crossing our path. So here's my photo of the rattlesnake that I didn't even know was a rattlesnake until I was told afterwards. It sounded like cicadas or, you know, general nature noise to raise in the burbs of New York me. The slitty slicker in me was happily photographing away, not realizing there was danger around. When the horses got nervous at the rattling noise, our guides grabbed the reins and we calmly backed away from the, the rattling rattlesnake. Sam Wright told us that rattlesnakes are not a regular occurrence on their trail rides. The usual spottings tend to be armadillos, known locally as pussums on a half shelf. Not that I've seen a pussum either, but it sounded hilarious to me. Or maybe a bear. To be honest, I've never seen an armadillo, pussum, or a bear in the wild. Anyway, we were super glad to have experienced horse people with us on this ride. It really gives you a perspective on how early American settlers would have braved the elements and danger all around to trek into the unknown. They were so brave. I can't even imagine being loaded down in layers of clothes as these women were, drawn on a horse or a wagon and heading into danger to start a new life away from everything I had known. 
Experience the nature on horseback gives you a unique perspective of the land and brings you closer than ever to your environment. Alabama Horseback Adventures is a really cool way to explore Lake Countryville State Park from a different angle. And their stories add lots of local flavor to what you see. Thanks to Sam and Karen for the additional photos and footage. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, remember to click like and subscribe for more videos. See you later.